this method is not a method per se as it is more of a philosophy. Uh, if you need to increase a lift as much as possible, how would you train it? Well, let's imagine that, for example, you need to increase your bench press, and yet you're doing a contest, right? The person who increases its bench press the most in a month wins $5 million. How would you train a bench press? Once a week? Of course not. You would bend, bench press every goddamn day because you want to get good at that lift. Of course, you would decrease the amount of work done for the other lift, but the more you practice a movement, at least in the short run, the more you can improve it. That's the basis behind high-frequency training. Now, it's all based on motor learning, becoming efficient at an exercise, recruiting the fibers more efficiently, making those fibers work together at a more efficient rate having less inhibition between your muscles. So you become really good at applying force in one movement. Uh, I'll give you one example. Uh, a few years ago, I, I was in Colorado and I was training and doing snatch grip eye pulls. I was using about 110 kilos and Tim Patterson's biotest owner came in and said, well, that's a pretty impressive lift. I mean, it's violently explosive and you're taking a pretty heavy weight and you're pulling all your, your collarbone. So, I mean, that, that looks great and it's not that difficult to do, so people will relate to that. It would be really cool if we filmed something like really impressive, like 180 kilos. So, well, the best I've ever done was like 130 and I was snatching 140 at the time. I'm, I can't do that right now. I'm doing 110. It's hard. You know, it would be really interesting if you did 180. So I said, okay, well, if I want to keep my job, I, I have to do 180. So for three weeks, all I did was doing explosive pulls, snatch grip eye pulls from blocks, from floor, uh, sometimes twice a day. Well, at the end of the three weeks, I was able to snatch grip eye pull 400 pounds, 180 kilos. Uh, that was simply because I got more efficient at movement. Because I didn't gain any muscle mass, my body weight stayed the same, body composition stayed the same. Uh, it was not long enough to build a significant amount of muscle. So it was really just a matter of becoming really efficient at that movement. You can also have the same example in uh, the military, for example, while they do pull-ups every time they go in or out of their dorm room. They, becoming, they become really, really efficient at pull-ups. So, I, the principle behind high frequency training is the more often you practice a movement without the accumulation of fatigue that makes the movement less efficient, the better you become at it. That works for three to four weeks. Past the three to four week point, there are no added benefit because the neural adaptation will take place mostly during that three to four weeks. So if you know you need to peak a certain lift, then it is perfectly acceptable to focus on that one lift for a short period of time to make sure that you are as efficient as possible. You can have really rapid gains as long as you don't burn yourself out. The biggest mistake is trading a lift too often too heavy. You have to just become good and efficient at that movement. So that means doing as work as often as possible without burning yourself out. So that means, for example, if I'm using a weight that I could lift five reps with, well, just do three reps every time you do it. So you're not accumulating fatigue. But it's heavy enough to get a neural adaptation to the movement. So that's high frequency work. It works especially well with body weight exercises and stand push up pull-ups, especially the strict variations. It will make these movements go up in strength really, really fast. Uh, Alex Vigneault increased his strict handstand push-up from 11 strict to 23 strict from a deficit in about a month and a half just by using a high frequency of practice, practicing every single day, several times a day without burning himself out you can have rapid increase in body weight exercises using that technique, provided that you don't burn yourself out on the reps.